today's video, we will focus on one of three views of Leon, the Timeline View. The Timeline View allows the Ops Department to quickly answer the question, what is happening with the fleet right now? Go to the section Ops, Timeline. All flights are displayed as green belts, on the edge of each belt, you can see the checklist dot. If you hover the mouse over the belt itself, Leon will show details of the trip, such as the flight number, schedule, block time, packs, trip number, etc. Click the icon to access the filter with available options, such as markers. You can assign all of them, and then see them on the timeline view. You can also set them up in the admin panel, general settings, timeline additional markers. It could be specified according to your needs, such as label, time before or after, and color. Leon will display a red flag on the right-hand side of the flight belt if there is FTL violation, endorsements expired or missing, currency expired, as well as when PAX passport is expired or missing. If you hover the mouse over the red flag, Leon will show you more details. Right-clicking the mouse on the flight or an option strip will open a window with access to flight documents, as well as show crew, show schedule, and notify crew functions. This works in exactly the same way as in calendar and table sections. Control and right-click of the mouse on chosen sectors will allow you to print documents for these sectors. It is possible to move the flights between the aircraft using drag and drop. Simply click on a flight you'd like to move, hold the mouse, and once the flight is highlighted, move it to the new selected aircraft. Once the flight watch is inserted, the low bar becomes amber-colored. Leon will also indicate the taxi times by the brown underline on the flight watch tile. Once the flight is active, we can see the low bar is blue-colored, and it shows how a scheduled flight looks like compared to the real-time performing sector. 